Hey guys, Arpim here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day, this video. Okay, wanted to give you guys an update, a one day, 24 hour update. Well, actually one day and six hour update of running the new Alphapex DG2. All right, big boy miner. This thing right now at my ambient temperature of about 95, 96 Fahrenheit, this thing is pulling almost 4,200 watts. Okay, 4,200 watts, and we are mining at about 18.3 giga hash over the past day. All right, so this thing is performing quite standard, actually, for a big boy ASIC miner, depending on your environment, all right? So at 95 Fahrenheit for me, yeah, this thing, you know, advertised 18 giga hash at about 39.50 watts or so. This thing is now pulling 4,196 watts for me here. Uh, in my environment. Now, I do have some numbers which I do want to go through with you guys. I did test at lower ambient temperatures and it was using, you know, pretty close to its advertised power consumption. So, yeah, it depends on your environment for those that are, you know, going to be mining with these types of miners. I mean, everyone knows that with big boy miners like this, your environment plays the part a lot. But anyways, I want to just talk more about this Alphapex DG2. So before we do that, thank you to today's video sponsor, TerraHosting.io. Terra Hosting is a ASIC miner hosting company. If you are looking to get your Bitcoin miners or script miners hosted, go check them out, TerraHosting.io. You can inquire through a form, which I have a special link down in the video description if you guys would like to inquire about getting your ASICs hosted. They have a couple hundred slots available and also more coming up in the next month or so at their new ASIC mining hosting facility. So check them out. They got 99% uptime as well as a very competitive rate with no hidden costs, no electricity up front, nothing to catch you off guard. So go inquire if you are interested in hosting your ASIC miners with terrahosting.io. All right, so you guys know generally how loud it is right now with it mining. Now, there has been some reservations. I've done a live stream uh, with the Alphapex DG2. I've done a, a teardown video, uh, taking out the hash board, just inspecting it, making sure, you know, pretty much looks the same as like the DG1 Plus when I took it apart. They have thermal pads on this DG2 here. So nice and cool, which I wanna talk about the temperatures right now, uh, but regarding the uh, reservation regarding the power plug here. Okay, so this is a P13, all right, new revision power cable input going into a C20. Now, thank you to Mr. BC. He had some reservations regarding the amperage, regarding like the 80% rule, you know, going through a cable like this, especially in North America. We all, we always talk about 80% rule. So, you know, 80% rule on a 12 gauge uh, cable like this, okay, and it, it is a little bit warm. I will show you guys the the temperature here on my thermal gun here. But just to talk about specifics, this cable is a 12 gauge P13 to C20 cable. So C20, I believe at 12 gauge is rated for 20 amps. So at like 250 volt or so, 240 volt, that's like what, 4,800 watts. But 80% rule of that would be about, I think 39, 4,000 watts. So we are above the 80% rule at this power consumption of about almost 4,200 watts. Granted, my ambient temperature in this area now is uh, 96 Fahrenheit. So does that mean this cable is sufficient enough, uh, have enough capacity to run for this DG2 at like 4,200 watts? Well, just looking at the P13 plug here, the temperature at the connector is about 40, 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, 40 degrees Celsius for this cable here. All right, as I go along, it's, uh, it's not as hot there, so about 36 in the center as we follow the cable. Okay, it does get a little bit toastier in the middle. Okay, that's where I touched it, it's about 42. Okay, as we go up here, the cable's still, yeah, 40, 44 there. As we get, okay, here we go. So as we get to the connector at the PDU, it's uh, the center there, it says 45 degrees Celsius and at the PDU now, yeah, 45, 44. So it looks like the max temperature is right at that point of the uh, C20 cable. It says 40, 47 degrees Celsius. All right, so 
it's it's not too bad honestly it's not that bad but it is a little bit hot okay especially when I touch it so one thing that was a concern is for this unit for these cables majority of people who are gonna buy these types of miners are probably gonna be in containers so they're probably gonna have hot and cold aisle and they're gonna have a lot of airflow going through these miners thus they're probably gonna have airflow going through and touching the cables for the cables as well so I don't think there's gonna be any concern about burning cables or anything like that but because where I'm mining right now I don't have any exhaust so my ambient is quite hot but I guess it's good for me to showcase this to you guys here at uh, 4200 watts and about 18.3 giga hash on this DG2 which is pretty cool now people wondering about the temperature on the back of it yeah, coming out here, we're about, hottest point is about 70 degrees Celsius. So that falls in line here, pretty much with the temperatures at the rear of the ASIC, which is honestly pretty cool. At my ambient of about 96 Fahrenheit, these Alphabex units are running much cooler than, I'd say, competitors like Bitmain, which I've seen run, you know, 80, 85 degrees Celsius, even at like Fahrenheit, 85 Fahrenheit. I have a much hotter environment, but this Alphabex unit is generally running pretty good at these temperatures. And I can safely say I have a few DG1 pluses and a DG1 I've had hosted over the past like year and a half and they've been running flawlessly through the winter and through the summers. Of course, I'm just a small sample size. All right, let's go on the computer here. Alrighty, so I just wanted to show you guys here. A full day I've had this running on nice hash. Uh, so it's earned about USD value, $23.26 USD in, into Bitcoin, all right? So just to show you guys the profitability uh, actual that I've earned there. And now let's talk about the Alphapex DG2 here uh, in terms of the, just the efficiency, I guess, okay? So I've, I've been able to, you know, just jot down when it first started and uh, also a day later. So here we are. 18.3 giga hash on average right now, 18.3. Um, and we can see it's about, yeah, 4,200 watts. It's at 4,203 as I'm looking at it right now. And looking here, so that's an efficiency of a 0 0.229. All right, so that, that's pretty much falling in line with my Bitmain L9, okay? Uh, and uh, I don't have my temperature reading on this one. I didn't run it. Uh, I'm not sure how, how my ambient was in this area but I think it was lower obviously than 95 uh, but anyways you can see the difference here uh, it's pretty much on par same efficiency uh, to the L9 that I've uh, I've personally tested so but looking down here if you have a cooler environment obviously uh, this thing can actually run much much cooler much more efficient at uh, 4015 watts uh, granted that was at 79 Fahrenheit okay and uh, 12 minutes in, 30 minutes in, 81 Fahrenheit, and it was I was getting about 4,000, uh, using about 4,030 watts. Okay, so that was about a 0 0.219 uh, in efficiency. So you got, I don't need to go through the rest. You guys can see how the environment plays the part uh, with these ASICs. I mean, it, that's also a given with a lot of the Bitcoin miners. I've also tested, depending on the environment, depending on the ambient temperature, these things pull, you know, a lot more a lot more power or less power if it's cooler obviously so just keep that in mind for anyone that's uh you know mining with these things the efficiency could is going to get worse as it's going to draw uh more power uh etc etc okay so anyways yeah so yeah this thing is pretty much dg2 is in line with just like an l9 uh in efficiency okay and um bulk miner d1 mini prey the small one blue miner l1 pro if we're to compare yeah, pretty, I would say pretty much Bitmain L9, exactly. Uh, but my, in my personal opinion, I would rather go Alpha Pex, even if it costs more than the L9, because the Alpha Pex units seems like they last a lot longer, and I can attest to that. And uh, a few other community members that have Alpha Pex units hosted, right? Uh, especially for anyone that's going to get this hosted. Right now, you can purchase the DG2 on Alpha Pex's website for 7560. Now, the uh, shipping date for this though is in December of 2025. All right, so understand the risks uh, once you are going to pre-order. If you are going to pre-order something like this, uh, just understand it's going to be a couple months from now. Okay, but it performs quite well. Just to let you all know, if anyone's interested, they do have DG Home ones on sale for 1100. If you use code Panda 200, 
you get 200 bucks off, okay, if you are interested, all right? So link down below if you guys want to uh, purchase a DG Home 1 uh, for 900, 900 bucks, okay? All right, guys, so I think that's it. Yeah, the Alphabet ZG2 is uh, quite the monster here. Uh, it's quite it's quite an efficient ASIC miner. It's solid, okay? We did take it apart, verified it is using thermal pads, so that's why uh, the uh, temperatures are really good on this. Like, even at 95 Fahrenheit, yeah, this thing, this thing is performing quite well. That's why I think this unit is gonna stand the test of time versus, let's say, a Bitmain L9, definitely. And I've heard a lot of people have issues with some L9s. Uh, there was a big bad batch of power supplies uh, of the L9, but some people have had good luck with theirs as well. So Bitmain though, ah, just in my opinion, over the past half year, year for me, it's been, it's been a crapshoot. A lot of my Bitcoin miners from Bitmain have died. And uh, yeah, it, it, it just sucks. But I don't know, you could say the Bitmain L7 was a tank. A lot of people really ha enjoyed these miners, but lately, depending on the, you know how old these are, I think they're failing now. But the L9, not quite sure, you know, over time compared to the Alpha Pex unit. You, know, you guys, let me know. You guys, let me know. What would you rather get, Alpha Pex or Bitmain? All right, guys, I think that's it. That's all I wanted to do, uh, just to uh, review for you guys over the past day and a bit of this running and temperatures and whatnot. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts of this unit, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.